Florida police have been shooting at real mugshots of real suspects. Um, Sergeant Rilla Indeent recognised her brother as one of the targets. And um, police chief Scott Dennis said that um, he had used poor judgment. I would say so, personally. David Cameron, Barack Obama, um, in anti-terror push for a change. Britain and America face threats to national security by people who hate what our countries stand for. Honestly, they, they come up with the same lines. What do our country stand for anymore, really seriously? What, a right to a fair trial? Um, not torturing victims? Um, no surveillance uh, of citizens? No um, restrictions on freedom of speech? It's, most of it's gone out the window anyway. Sorry, um, Ukraine conflict. Look at the uh, battle for Donetsk airport. I mean, I don't understand this battle. Look at it. I mean, would you fight for this? It's an absolute mess. I mean, they've completely wrecked it. And I find this disturbing on a, on a number of levels. Number one, that the BBC are saying there's a battle for a fighting for control of this airport like it still exists. I mean, look at it. That's not an airport anymore, is it, really? It's just a heap of rubble. So it should be battle for heap of rubble. Um, but also, as to what they've done to it and what mankind is capable of, it's just, it's, it's kind of stupid. That's the only words I can think for it, you know, well done. Um, th this, this Pope, yeah, six million people um, attended the ceremony uh, for his visit in Manila. Look at that, I mean... I have a problem with this that I don't understand why people worship other other human beings. I don't get it. There's uh, something about freedom of speech here. People have been trying to get people sacked if they say something racist on the internet. I don't believe that is racism, really, if you say one thing. There's been a lot also on Russia's economy on BBC, just sort of saying how they're struggling, look at them struggling. You know, they should take the cameras into London and see people in London struggling and in other parts of the world. You know, this is just propaganda, clearly. There was quite a few articles um, about how Russia's, you know, handling the sanctions. Fox apology for um, bringing on a guest, Stephen Emerson, who me and Anthony will chat about in one of our Sentinel chats, um, saying Birmingham was a Muslim-only area. Then there was an article about the richest 1% um, to own more than the rest of the world. Running out of time here, um, Nazi cattle, a uh, farmer forced to cull part of his herd because they kept attacking him. This was a breeder that was specially bred by the Nazis. So that's a Nazi cow for you there, or a bull. Um, then there was, uh, there's, there's a lot on the BBC about testing drones and uh, flying drones, and that's what today's episode's about, is about drones. So I thought I'd just show a couple of, a couple of the ones they've got on display here. Um, it says here, drones being put to military use, and here's a there's drone here. Um, there's, uh, if you look to the right, you can see ambulance drones on the battlefield. I mean, I don't know about you, but if I was on the battlefield and suffering and in pain, the last thing I'd want to see is a heap, heap of metal coming to sort of look after me. I'd prefer a human being because, you know, it could be my last moments. I would prefer that to a robot turning up. But anyway, um, today's episode is about drones. We're going to be talking about the inhumanity of them in some cases. I mean, they do have their uses, obviously. But anyway, they're talking about whether they could be used on the battlefield. I'm sure they will be used on the battlefield. We're going to be talking about the battlefield and drones and surveillance and the police state and the military. Here's a drone hovering. Um, just finally, Japan, um, Abe pledged $200 million to help fight ISIS. So now you can see on the right there, ISIS threatens to kill two Japanese hostages unless they receive 200 million ransom.